Hi, I'm here at Mosey and the sunflowers are growing and maturing and we've got one uh, that hasn't that actually uh, completely matured but it's enough that we can show you the counting that we want you to do when your uh, sunflowers are ready. Um, don't do this when they're still looking like this and they've still got the yellow petals and uh, in particular you can't see the seed pattern very clearly in the middle. You want to wait until all these little floret things have fallen off and you can see the black seeds, usually black seeds, it might be white and black, uh, of the sunflower underneath. All right? So once you've got to that stage, um, uh, for extra bonus points before you get to that stage you can count the petals, but that's not the key thing you need. So once you get, before you do anything else, just measure the height to the middle of the head, and I've got 98 centimetres plus 3, so that's 1 metre 2 uh, for this sunflower. Now I've measured the head, I'm going to uh, take it off. I'm going to take one off, I don't know how easy it's going to be. Not very easy, if the answer is scissors is, what, is what's recommended at this stage. Okay, that's not going to work. We need to... Uh, um, ah, there we go, okay. So, um, as I said, I think this seed head actually probably died and the, pet the flower heads fell off before it got to maturity. The other thing that we'd like you to do, you can't do it on this one because they've gone mouldy, is measure these green bracts, so count the green bracts around the back. But the key thing is to look at the spiral counts. So let's see if we can do that on this sunflower. Just, I'm just brushing off the flower heads so I can see the seeds underneath. And now we can see... I think we can see just about, there's a pattern of seeds here and there's a little spiral of these four seeds all in a line. And what I'm going to do is just, so I can count where I'm up to, one, two, three, four. So I've taken out that spiral. Now the key thing that we're trying to count, we're not trying to just go around the outside and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I say how many there are outside. The spiral, outside because that's not very accurate. What we want to do is count how many of these spirals there are. So I'll start at this one, and I'm actually going to call that zero for the reasons you'll see in a minute. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll just pull that one out so I can check later on. That's, that's zero, ten, one, two, three, Hard to see because it's not very mature. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I think that's a ten there. I've got a rimmer on the camera who will tell me if she thinks I've missed any. I think that's ten. Okay, once we've once you've taken this, another way, of do, a much better way of doing this actually is to take a photo of the seed head and then use your um, computer. You can do it in uh, in PowerPoint to draw lines onto your photo. That way, if you get it wrong, you can try again. So that's uh, another one. So where do we start from? 0, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and I can see already that we're going to get, in quotes, the wrong answer, right? So I started here at zero, that's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, oh no, that's right, 33, 34, right? So what we've done is we've counted all the way around the outside of the um, head, the number of spirals, we started at, at zero, went up in tens, got to 30, and then finished off with 31, 32, 33, 34 before we had number one. So this has got 34 spirals around the outside of its sunflower head, which um, if you like Fibonacci numbers is good news because 34 is a Fibonacci number. Now the next thing we want you to do is to notice which way that spiral is. This, as you go out from the centre outwards, it's curving round in a clockwise direction. So we we'll call that a clockwise spiral. And then the next thing is to uh, look at the spirals in the opposite direction. So we might need to zoom in again. Right, so we were counting spirals there before, but if you just follow my finger, there's another line of spirals here. So I'll pull out a seed to count that one. One. Two. Again, maybe a good tool would help here. There's 
Now these are flatter, so there should be um, less of these, I guess, around the seed head. So let's see if we can count those by hand. Zero, one, two. This is what, if you do end up taking a photo, you need to be really careful, because you see these areas around here where the structure isn't very easy to see. And maybe if you rub off some of the extra gunk, it's easier to see the little white dots that really help your eyes see the spirals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I think that one is ten. Oops, I need to get an extra one there by mistake. Uh, okay, so that was uh, from our beginning 0, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Do you know, I've done this probably 20 times now on Sunflowers and I'm always just amazed every time it comes out with Fibonacci numbers. It is just fantastic. So, uh, the good news is that the uh, Science Museum is capable of growing sunflowers which uh, obey the Fibonacci rules. The big question is out of all of these sunflowers, how, many of the time, how much of the time are we going to find that that's true? And when it isn't true, what are the patterns going to look like? Um, so, uh, good luck with the counting.